Hi, everyone, and welcome to my perfect weekend in Reykjavik, which begins at the Sun Voyager, a symbol for exploring new worlds, which is what I intend to do on my very first visit to Iceland. Now, I have my checklist of must-sees and must-dos, which include riding an Icelandic horse, a dip in the hot springs, and a glimpse at the beautiful natural landscape. So let's see what else I can discover on my perfect weekend here. Downtown Reykjavik is filled with small shops and quaint boutiques. Even when the sun shines, temperatures in Reykjavik rarely exceed 14 degrees Celsius in the summer. That's why wool products are popular all year round. The Hand Knitting Association of Iceland specializes in all sorts of hand knitted products. I met up with a group of knitters to find out more. Hello, ladies. Golan Tayen. <laughs> so, you're all busy knitting yes, away. Yes, yes. So, what is the difference between uh, Icelandic wool and other types of wool? It's mixed or blend wool. Okay. It's uh, with uh, very fi fine hair and a long hair. And it's, this is mixed together right. in uh, fabric or machine made. Mm -hmm. And you and out comes the strands. Okay. And a sweater, for example, like this one, how long, how long would a sweater like that take to knit? Uh, I used to say that it's 15 to 20 hours. But not not from one day to another, not one today and another, another tomorrow because it's it's hard. You get tired in your hands. I see here eight women plus me. I don't see the men. Where are all the guys? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> cooking at home. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cleaning. Um, we are a union or a cooperative of uh, about 500 people, mm -hmm. two men. 500 uh, people yes, out of all those, yes. just two men. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, can I give it a go? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've never knit before, though. I have no idea what to do. Go in, go get it, go through. Okay, for, I need a third hand. Yes. Okay. Like this? Uh -huh. Hold it. Hold it. And then the now other. Now take it. Go through. Yay! So maybe oh, one. like this. And you have to put it back. All right, like I'll this. give this back to you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And this is my shopping tip for a perfect weekend in Reykjavik. Wool that is handmade in Iceland. The Harbor Concert Hall represents the modern side of the city. It's located right on the harbor, which is also home to Iceland's oldest restaurant, the Café Wagner. This is where I meet head chef Jenny Runosdottir, who tells me how Icelanders love their fish, which is served in a pan here. Tell me what is the most popular fish here in Iceland? Pot is most popular in Iceland. We, caught, we, we fish it here in the sea, close to, and it's the best fish that we can get, the freshest. Yes, the rice. After lunch, I make my way to another attraction, visible from many angles. Here's another major landmark of Reykjavik, the Hallgrimskirche. Built over a 40-year period, finished in 1986, with a very important explorer, Leifur Eriksson, standing right out front. Let's go check it out. Leifur Eriksson is considered the son of Iceland. He also set foot on North America before Christopher Columbus. another fun thing to do while you're in Reykjavik. The city is full of surprises like pop-up yoga. You can take a class right in the middle of the town for free. Icelanders truly have thick skin. Even the cold weather doesn't keep them away. For me, this is a great way to get my muscles ready for my next adventure. And then go back, push back and hold this position. I'm going horseback riding at the East Hestar Stables, just 15 minutes out of town. 
Ilfa Gunmund's daughter is going to be my guide today. Nice to meet you. And who are these little guys? This is Tienon. Tienoi. She's going to be your horse Hi, today. Tienoi. And this is Mosi. Hi, I'll Mosi. be riding him with you today. Mosi the horsey. <laughs> All right. So, so, and you say he's a follower. He's a follower. He's very sweet and gentle. He's got a very nice tolt, or tusht, as we say in Icelandic, which is a very nice and smooth gait, which okay. they are famous for. All right, speaking of gates, yes. Mm -hmm. These horses, Icelandic horses, have five gates yes. versus three normally for other types of horses. Exactly. So explain again the gates. Uh, so basically, the Icelandic horse is known for these two extra gates. About 90% of Icelandic horses uh, have the flying pace, which is the fifth gate, while all of the Icelandic horses have the gate called tolt, or tusht, as we say in right. Icelandic. Why are these, extra, these two extra gates important? So basically, this is what makes them very popular around the world, uh, especially the tolt, uh, for competitions and such, and also for fun riding. And it is, um, what is special about it is that they move differently. Mm -hmm. So they can go from a walking speed up to a galloping speed in touch. Okay. So they are very versatile in this gait. And so now around. it's time for me yeah, to put good. the tote to the test. In there. Yeah. My horse, meanwhile, doesn't look too enthused. There we go. The natural landscape is perfect for a ride with no cars in sight. Ilfa demonstrates one of the gates which these horses are famous for. This is the tolt. As you can see, the rider is sitting very nice and comfortable in the saddle. This is my activity tip for a perfect weekend in Reykjavik, a ride on an Icelandic horse. Giddy up! <laughs> I spend day two on my trip exploring Iceland's natural beauty. This is the Gullfoss waterfall, located on the so-called Golden Circle route. It's about a 90-minute drive from Reykjavik. These are glacial waters that flow down into the Havita River. Ausgit Jonsson works here as a park ranger. What makes these falls so spectacular? Some say it's the most beautiful waterfall in Iceland. But also there is an interesting story about Sigridur, who fought for protecting the waterfall from hydro plant and energy production. So she is supposed to have walked to Reykjavik to protest and uh, she actually was going to jump into the waterfall because uh, she wanted to protect it. And she won in the end. She didn't jump in, and we still have the beautiful waterfalls without any hydroelectric production. So aside from this, what is another must-see in this area? Uh, the Geysir area, where Stroker uh, gushes up into the air. The Stroker geyser is one of the region's most active it erupts about every five to 10 minutes once the water reaches temperatures close to 200 degrees Celsius. Wow. So if you only have a weekend in Reykjavik, I recommend heading out on the Golden Circle to see Strokur Geyser as well as the Goldfoss waterfalls. Finally, I wrap up my day at the Fontana Spa with a special treat on the side. I hear you're breaking bread. Yeah, breaking bread here right in the ground. In the ground, all right. Yeah. Well, how does this work? So we, <clears throat> we put a dough in a pot and we leave it in the ground for 24 hours. Uh -huh. And then we usually have a perfect rye bread. Well, why would you want to do it this way when there are ovens nowadays? Well, we have, you know, all this free energy coming right up, you know, from okay. Mother Earth, and uh, this is a lot of fun to do, so... Okay. So, yeah, and we've been doing this for a long, long time. All right, yeah, it seems so. Yeah. All right, show me. Yeah. Sigi Hilmarsson is the Fontana Spa's manager, and he grew up making bread this way, so he's a real pro. So 
you prepare the butter. Yeah, it's... Is the butter homemade here, too, under the earth? Well, actually, it's not under the earth, <laughs> but, you know, it's... Well, it's, it's a little really, too hot. It's local. <laughs> yes. And this is my culinary tip, trying mm. some earth-baked bread. It has a unique taste, doesn't it? Very moist. Yeah, it's, it's like moist. cake. It it's has like this rye and the, and the very sugar. Very yummy. Bathing in the naturally hot springs of the spa is a special experience, but visitors beware. Sulfur in the water permeates the air and also quickly tarnishes most silver jewelry. But these hot springs are worth it. And this is my special tip for a perfect weekend here, immersing yourself in the thermal waters around Reykjavik. And this also wraps up my tour, but join me again as I explore more exciting European destinations. And until then, it's happy travels. Thank <laughs> you.